Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer. This is Jasper. He's a nine-year-old neutered male chihuahua, and suddenly he cannot use any of his legs, his front legs, his hind legs. He can't stand or walk or begin to place them or support his weight or use them at all. Jasper does have intervertebral disc disease, which is contributing greatly to his inability to use his front legs or his hind legs, but also he is overweight for his tiny little frame and it's hard for his muscles to hold him up even if the nerve pathways were intact. So Jasper gets the full force of the intervertebral disc disease protocol X-rays have been taken, trigger points have been located. He has an intravenous catheter in his right front leg, you can see there, for the administration of intravenous medicine which has been given. So he's getting his first of many acupuncture treatments. Dr. Ann, a certified veterinary acupuncturist, is placing these acupuncture needles in strategic places, acupuncture points at neuromuscular junctions, and then connecting them to this machine, which is an acupunctoscope. You can see that Jasper is tolerating this well, having a hard time staying awake, actually. So this machine puts small electric charges through these needles to potentiate their action and the results that we get from them. So here we're getting some early success. Jasper able to stand for a few seconds. When he tries to advance, then he does tumble to the ground. But this is a big improvement over when he came just a short while ago. And here he is wearing his doggles and getting a class four therapeutic laser treatment, which uses light energy to influence the activity of cells, intracellular activity, and contribute to the healing process. And here he is another day, different time, getting another one of these treatments of which he gets many. And you can see he is relaxing, sleeping through this. And here we are, days later, another acupuncture treatment. And you can see that these cases are not always linear, that sometimes they get better and then backslide. It's hard to get progress that is continual. It can be elusive, but we're staying at it. Jasper is also receiving several kinds of oral medication during this time and complete cage rest other than physical therapy. So he's getting some herbal treatment along with Western methods, therapeutic laser and acupuncture, and tolerating it well. and yet another therapeutic laser treatment, again one of many, 
as we continue to work with Jasper. So now we're two weeks out from when Jasper came to see us with this problem and you can see he can stand totally on his own and he's trying to take a step. Can I take a step? I'm going to try. We'll see what happens here. He's thinking it over. And yes, yes, he stumbles a little bit, but he can walk with hesitation. He can support himself gain his feet, and advance and walk. But only a few steps, oh, there he goes. That's all he's got right now. So we try again, he knuckles over a little bit on the right front, that proprioceptive deficit, he's wobbly, but much improved over when he came in two weeks ago and appears to be on the road to recovery. And there he caught himself that time for a little while, but ultimately succumbed. So Jasper did go home and now he's come back. It's two months later and he's receiving another acupuncture treatment with the acupuncturoscope. You can see he's not even being restrained. He's just voluntarily accepting this treatment and, and seems comfortable. This is later that same day, and you can see that Jasper has gained a lot of strength. His owners have been protecting him, keeping him from getting further injured and working with him at home, and he's gained a lot of strength and capability during this time, and there he goes. Good boy, Jasper. Trucking right along there. And here's Jasper again. It's been two months since the last time that we had video. This is in our front lobby. You can see he's lost a considerable amount of weight, which is helping a lot for his locomotion and his attitude, his confidence, his ability to move. So he's done very well to regain this kind of activity and come this far. He has been on Royal Canaan's Society Diet, which is a weight loss diet, which is very effective. And his owners have discontinued giving him human food and so he's doing quite well. Jasper, you're a good boy. Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work.